looks like we have another unboxing uh, to keep in theme with our Alco Knight. I have a freight set from 1953 that uh, has a pair of Erie Alcos. Uh, the FAs, black with uh, yellow uh, striping. It's the uh, set number 1467W. And I've got no track with the set, but there's some real nice crispy boxes for the caboose and freight cars. And then there's no boxes for the, the FAs. They are wrapped in brown paper. So let me open up some of these and we'll take a look. All right, I've got all of the cars out of their boxes. Take a quick look. The locomotives are quite nice. Not a lot of scratches. Got a horn. And uh, this is the powered unit. Looks really good. There's the caboose, 6357. Matching box. These boxes are really bricks. They're very nice. This is an illuminated caboose with a die cast smokestack. It's fairly heavy. And then there is the dummy unit. Notice there's a loose wire down here, so we'll have to take care of that before we, we run it. There's a 6465 tank car. Very nice condition. Original box. And look at this uh, cattle car in yellow. It's the painted version. It's really nice. 6656 stock car. And then the last freight car is this hopper. And uh, it says 6456 red hopper car, and it is red. I think some of these sets came in black. So this is the 1467W from 1953. And the re reason I think it's from 1953 and not 1952 is this little plastic button that is molded in that uh, shell to keep it from warping. So let's... Uh, make the repair on the dummy wire and uh, we'll get it on the track. I've got the dummy Erie locomotive upside down on a soft sponge and let's take the body off. Oops, need a slotted screwdriver on that. I'll just turn it a little bit. Same thing on the other side, and the plastic body should lift off. I'll do it this way. There we go. So there's a light bulb. Oh, somebody's painted it silver so that it only shines forward. That's interesting. Let's find out where this loose wire goes. Hmm. Well, it looks like it's for the coupler. We'll dig into that a little bit. Let's remove the front truck and then see if we can solder that wire back on. I've got the soldering iron plugged in. solder to the uh, coupler. I'll go to the book and make sure I'm right. So we're correct that this wire goes to the automatic uncoupler. 
and trace this wire back to the sliding shoe and it makes sense that this coupler is fixed on the back of the dummy and the front of the dummy which is going to be hooked to the freight cars you'd want that to uh, uncouple so I'm going to tin that wire and solder it back to that terminal you can see the wire soldered back on and I've got the uh, one of the wheels grounded so that basically is the outside rail and then I'm going to touch this sliding shoe and watch and see if the coupler opens there so it opened so we know it works and we can put the shell back on and put it on the track. I've got the dummy on the track, got the power on, and we can see that the headlight works. The number boards don't light up very well, and that's because they had that silver paint on the bulb. I might change that back to an original bulb. Let's get the power unit on. The power unit looked a little dry, so I oiled it and it runs really well. Here it comes. Notice how the lump number board lights up. I came over to the counter to grab the freight cars and I thought why didn't I get the 1953 Lionel catalog? And there on page 1011 is the 1467 W four car freight set whopping 5750 it was a lot of money back then there's the set notice it had a black hopper and we have a red hopper let's run the train Looks like we are ready to go. And the caboose lights up, or not. The caboose tricked me, but it does actually work. I encountered some problems when I was running the set. This little piece right here was getting hot, super hot, and I could hear it crackle and and set the circuit breaker. These are homemade switches that I made over 25 years ago and I had no problems with them until tonight. And then I found the culprit. This car was sitting off the track just a little bit and the short turned out to be right there. Problem fixed.
that's it for a really great set, number 1467W, post-war Lionel. Beautiful cars, hardly any scratches. Boxes are very clean. Everything works. The only thing we didn't get to was the horn, and we'll leave that for another day. Thanks for watching.